Don Eduardo Calderon, a Peruvian shaman, is beginning his most important healing ceremony, the mesa. The ritual takes six hours. In this ceremony, he will drink the hallucinogenic inducing juice of the San Pedro cactus and put himself in a trance with ancient songs and prayers. While in his youth, Eduardo fell gravely ill. It was a woman shaman, Curandera, who healed him. While healing him, the woman realized that he also had the abilities to heal, though then still unknown to him. And thus, Eduardo later learned the art of healing from various curandero masters of the country. The blind psychologist August Rückerberg is in Munich, getting ready for his trip to Peru. He wants to meet the famous shaman, Don Eduardo. August hopes that this meeting will give him a greater sensitivity and insight for his very demanding job as a therapist. Eduardo's wife Maria and his son Chino help the curandero in his strenuous work. They are going to assist and support him in his rituals and stay with him until the first light of dawn. Every morning at sunrise, Eduardo does his sound and breathing exercises so as to center himself and bring body and spirit into harmony. Yo siento de que la, el, el chamanismo, el curanderismo y más que todo la, el, la brujería, hablamos, es nada menos que es un una actividad mental dirigida intencionalmente a un punto determinado. Bueno, en el sentido eh, de sentimiento de cosas, este, intencional y también malo. ¿Ya? Es nada menos que eso. ¿no? Tiene que haber un guía. Un maestro guía. No es cuestión de entrar nada más a accionar si no sabe cómo son los, cómo, cuál es la, 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 la realidad de los, de los efectos. Sería un poco. Es peligroso si no conoce uno, si no tiene experiencia. In Munich, August is making the final preparations for his trip. He's now going shopping and will safely be escorted to the city by his guide dog, Berno. August became totally blind some 30 years ago. The doctors say that it is a hereditary defect of the retina. However, as a child, I was still able to see so much that I know the shapes and colors things have. I was only just able to make out typewritten words when almost touching the paper with my nose. I could ride a bicycle in our village, and I could also paint colorful pictures with oil paint. All this was possible until about the age of 20. After that, it got slowly and continually worse. And then the time came when I was only able to make out the different shades of brightness, but without the colors and shapes. And that's the situation now. Where Eduardo comes from in the north of Peru, family ties are very strong. Eduardo has 13 children. His large family, when compared to the standards and lifestyle of Europeans, lives in rather poor conditions. Most of the grown-up children are unemployed and make their way through life doing daily jobs if and when they are available. But 
Thanks to a good guide dog, I don't have to worry about too many things on the road, as for example bicycle stands and signposts, or whatever it is he guides me around. That's very practical, because then my ears and other senses are free to concentrate on other situations. As an example, I can hear if the traffic is moving crosswise or parallel to me when I am still 20 meters away from the intersection. I can pace myself so that when I get to the traffic lights, it's green and I can immediately cross the street. Here in Las Delicias, one gets through the day with very simple things, and most of all, with lots of improvising. Eduardo also likes to spend his free time working in his garden. His homegrown vegetables are a supplement and a welcome change to the food on the family dinner table. After 17 hours of traveling, August has now arrived in Lima. The trip was long and tiring. Berno is showing his master that his baggage has now come. August has finally reached his destination. To be by Don Eduardo Calderon, the famous shaman. He lives here on the barren coast of Peru, 1,000 kilometers north of Lima. August's presents, school rucksacks for the children, are happily examined and well appreciated by the family. Maria is preparing a very special meal of cooking bananas and the simplest of ingredients for their guest. During meals, the men eat amongst themselves. They are served by Maria. After every meal, Eduardo finds time for a leisurely chat. En las corridas de toros, ya, los toros están un poco mansos, no atacan. Agarran el, lo, lo agarran al toro fuerte y lo amarran y le agarran un rocoto de esos ají y le ponen en el culo. No, así, así. Eduardo. Eduardo liked to tell stories. Even when the stories had elements in them which weren't so nice, he knew how to tell them in a humorous way. This was probably an expression of his basic philosophy that most things in life should not be taken too seriously because they were only instances or phases in life and that things changed and developed further and life went on. Chan Chan, the famous ancient city north of Trujillo. Eduardo once worked here for seven years as a restorer of clay friezes. It was, however, for his unique replicas, copies of pre-Columbian pottery work, that he became known. The copies were so good that even specialists had difficulty in telling them from the originals. It was here, in 1965, that Eduardo first met the American ethnologist Douglas Sharon. As a result of this meeting, Sharon studied Peruvian shamanism under Eduardo's guidance and published the book Magician of the Four Winds in 1978, making Eduardo world famous almost overnight. Scientists today still use Eduardo's material as a source of reference. This was also the case with Albert Hoffman and Richard Schultes in their important literary work, Plants of the Gods. Ethnologists from all over the world came to Eduardo over the years to study the art of shamanism. That is how Don Eduardo, the Peruvian, became famous. His popularity made it possible for him to make many trips to North America and Europe. He gave lectures about shamanism at universities, made many television appearances, and held many private seminars. With the resulting income from these endeavors, his entire extended family was able to live well for the first time. A mí lo que me interesa es el presente. El pasado 
es pasado, ya pasó. Algunas cosas sirven como apoyo y, y de trampolín a saltar hacia adelante, hacia el presente. El futuro no me pertenece todavía. Hay que esperar. El devenir, el porvenir viene. ¿Yo por qué voy a ir? Nadie llega. Todas las cosas vienen consecutivamente. Nada es nuevo y bajo el sol. Todo está hecho ya. El hombre necesita escrudiñar ¿ya? para llegar a las conclusiones. ¿no? El estudio constante, las comparaciones. The Inca capital Cusco, 3,249 meters above sea level. This is the first stop on the way to the famous city of Machu Picchu. Not only tourists, but also esoterians from all over the world seeking a deeper meaning to life are fascinated by its ruins. August too believes that there are special vibrations at such places. When I'm in the foreign when I'm traveling or away from home, I'm more interested in the people, in the social experience, than in the cultural monuments. And it is now only recently that I've become slowly interested in old, religious, cultural monuments, because I realize that they are often built at special places and locations which have concentrations of energy. Places where one suddenly feels a very strong flowing energy in the earth, in the ground, at certain places. I believe these are energy streams that one can feel. It is also known that water diviners can feel it with their divining rods. However, it is apparently also possible to feel it directly with the body senses which one has. For instance, I might be standing somewhere in an old cathedral and notice that suddenly, in a certain place, my feet and lower legs become very warm. Then, when I move two meters away, it is no longer so. I believe that is an interesting discovery, and I would like to train my sense perceptions further in that direction. Puntos escogidos por el hombre, lugares donde hay una vibración especial. ¿ya? Los templos, por lo general, siempre se han buscado adrede mediante el, el estudio vibratorio, cuando se llama del, del sitio, por medio de radiestesia, posiblemente. ¿no? Se ha comprobado de que justamente ese sitio tiene una, un punto energético importante, especial. Y todos esos puntos energéticos se conectan. ¿Qué vas? Se echa ahí, hace el despegue del maestro está desde acá y hace el toque magnético. Así. La persona sale por aquí, por este recorrido. Esta es una plataforma de despegue del vuelo. En realidad, el templo superior general único, eterno, es el cósmico. El segundo es, el, digamos, el segundo sería aquel templo que edifica el hombre materialmente, como un edificio, como una, digamos, con materiales. ¿ya? Y el, el otro, el más, el, el completo, digamos, lo que vale sería, el hombre mismo es un, es un templo, su corazón. La energía es la resultante, con forma de la de la fuerza que emite la materia. No hay materia si no tiene energía. Tienen que tener energía. No hay nada muerto. Todo vibra.
Back in Las Delicias, August would like to bathe in the cool sea. For those who can see, that's not a problem. But for someone who is blind, full concentration is necessary. When I go into the water, I try to discern in which direction the waves are moving in relation to the beach. Secondly, in which direction the wind is blowing in relation to the beach. Thirdly, where the sun is in relation to the beach. The sun is quite easy to locate because of the warmth which it radiates. I'm still able to locate it optically. When one is in the water, one can naturally also hear the sounds of the people on the beach. And then, of course, it takes practice to combine and use these different orienting criteria. But when one has a little experience, one gets back on land with no difficulty. Eduardo financed his house with the work he did traveling in other countries. He has been a shaman for more than 40 years. Now, Eduardo's life and surroundings have become calmer. After many strenuous years, his energies are diminishing. Nowadays, he once again enjoys producing replicas of old Peruvian clay pipes, together with his son, Paco. Eduardo and his wife took in three of their grandchildren. The children were not welcome and accepted in the family clan of their son, Chino. The welfare of the family is an important concern of Eduardo. The pyramid ruins of the Sun and Moon Temple near Trujillo. Eduardo and his relatives are collecting stones together in the great heat. They are building a spiral for August's purification ceremony. The spiral is an ancient symbol for the way to death and to rebirth. Eduardo is giving instructions to his guest. The strange doings of the shaman and the blind stranger quickly attract the attention of the tourists. The curandero is explaining to the interested crowd of bystanders and spectators how the Earth's energy waves are related to the spiral which he has built. I took part in that and always tried to concentrate my senses on what now was supposed to happen with this spiral. This withdrawing from, this winding inwards into our center, inner being, a kind of symbolic death. And then this unraveling oneself again, ascension, to spread and extend oneself outwards. But I must admit, that which I felt the most was my concentrating that my feet always find the spiral path which lay between the stones as I walked into the center of the spiral and then the way back out again. Two groups form following the ceremony. Eduardo, well known as a shaman throughout the country, arouses a lot of interest. <laughs> August and his dog Berno are a curious source of wonder as well, as guide dogs are still something unknown in Peru. <coughs> Once the sun begins to set, the farmers leave the meager fields with their animals and return to the village. Everyone enjoys the last rays of the setting sun.
Las Delicias lies near the equator, and therefore nightfall comes rather suddenly. The electricity supply network is, like many things out here in the country, in bad condition. Power failures are a common thing of everyday life. <laughs> Inspired by the special candlelight atmosphere, Maria is telling ghost stories. I do believe in spirits. There are self-made spirits and spirits which others have made. And the question whether there are spirits which are independent and outside men's heads is maybe not all that important. Bueno, magia negra, magia blanca, magia amarilla, magia roja, magia verde. Son denominaciones a ciertos usos de... Eh, en, en el campo de las terapias. La magia negra cosa más, se le denomina cosa más, a la maldad, a la, a, al daño, o sea, la intención mala cosa más, sobre alguien. Ya, negra porque lo negro cosa más, se le toma en, como, como en, en cuenta por el color mismo. ¿no? Ya, y la magia blanca es, le ponen lo bondadoso, lo bueno. Lo rojo, referente cosa más, a las cosas, por ejemplo, que se hace... Es, se actú, actúan con el fuego, la verde con las plantas, ¿ya? pero que en realidad para protegerse no hay más que uno entender qué es eso. ¿ya? Hay muchas maneras de, de bloquear con esas es cuestión intencional ¿no? es, que viene sobre nosotros, de alguien que vibra mentalmente y uno recibe como, un, como, una, como si fuera un radio. Entonces, uno cierra el dial y ya no entra nada. Abre el dial y comienza a vuelta a emitir. ¿Ah? Spontaneously, it is decided that spirits are to be cast out. It seems that the guest house in which August is being accommodated is haunted and has been so ever since a visitor died in his bed there. People also believe that the neighbor's dog is now possessed by the spirit of the deceased. After the spirit has been cast out, all go back to their homes in a good mood, leaving August behind, bewildered in the guest house. Making a daily living, the people try to catch fish by using a heavy dragnet. Siempre me gustó el mar. Me gustó siempre el lugar donde había agua, ríos, eh, lagunas, lagos. Emparentado con ella, cuando yo llegué a Europa, extrañaba a ella. Entonces llegué a conocer y para mí fue siempre estar en contacto con la cuestión acuariana más que es importante, dando a entender de que el agua ¿ya? es un buen conductor de las energías. Y eso me sirvió mucho.
The work is hard. The climatic phenomenon known as El Niño, the abnormal warming of the ocean's waters, has also taken its toll on the size of the fish catch. Only Berno seems to fully enjoy the beach. There is also evidence of modern times in the shaman's house, even though the pictures might be somewhat blurred. Eduardo also likes to read, but he has very few books. There is not enough money to buy more. For that reason, he reads the same books over and over again, two, three times. That's not so bad, he says, because one only understands a demanding book after reading it several times. On the way to Mercado Bujo, the witch's market in the center of Trujillo. That was a long time wish, towards which Eduardo at first was always a bit reluctant. That it was so dangerous, and so much was stolen, and this and that. And it was something so exciting that in the end I had the feeling that it wasn't really all that dangerous. And then, of course, came this enormous flood of sense impressions. That was really very impressive. One can find everything at the Brujo market, from plants to minerals to magic potions. All shamans and witches from far and wide come to this market. It is here that they have their personal elixirs and herbs prepared. And right alongside, the fish market. Sometimes it's a little bit too much for me. Naturally a very extreme and very, very vibrant way of life. But for the relatively short time, actually something very rousing and inspiring. Because it was all so different. When I think of the variety of smells in Mercado Mayorista in Trujillo, for example, from the fruits to the vegetables and herbs to the meat department, which sometimes made you wonder about the freshness of the food. Or other less sanitary smells everywhere, which for European noses were sometimes a little bit strong, to say the least. At times, that was a bit hard to take, but that's part of it all, that's the way it is there. Then one simply has to be above it all, so to speak, or somehow try to find enjoyment in the fact that things can also function differently, that maybe it isn't necessary that everything is so sterile and clean, like in many homes back in Europe, where people invest a lot of time and concern in sterility rather than in enjoying life. The minibuses pick up customers on the way to their destinations, as many as possible, until the last seat is occupied. August is often occupied with a question which he has had on his mind ever since his mother's death. He would now like to pose this question to Eduardo. 
¿Qué, qué piensas de las influ influencias de los muertos sobre, sobre los vivos? No, ninguna influencia es el muerto. El vivo hace todas sus influencias, el muerto ya es muerto. Uno uh -huh. cree que el muerto le va, a influ le, va a influ le va a influir. Es que la idea es en ello. Por favor, madre o, pa o hermano, papá, ayúdame. Ese es el decir común, ¿no? El muerto de qué va a ayudar. Uh -huh. Es un punto de apoyo que uno, uno este, busca para, para digamos, este, solucionar, para, como una ayuda nada más. Uh -huh. Pero el muerto ya que va a venir a hacer nada. Los que murieron se fueron. Y no regresan hasta cuando les toque. En sí, al muerto no, porque el muerto es físicamente es una materia que se tiene que, que, que transformar. Su personalidad aquí en la tierra y su alma que entra en ese momento del nacimiento. Eso sí. Esos son como fojas de un gran libro que quedan truncas con la muerte. Y luego y hay muchas hojas en blanco, viene la, la reencarnación y esas hojas vuelven a tener nuevamente, eh, digamos, es, tienen que ser escritas nuevamente, continuar el escrito, el trabajo, la acción, los cometidos, lo que uno busca. The clay pipes will now be fired in a makeshift kiln. Maria and Paco place them in a hole in the ground which they have made and then cover them with dung. After two hours, the process is completed. Later, the pipes will be offered for sale to the tourists. Even a shaman has a little touch of vanity. Eduardo wants to look his best, and so is getting ready for a special evening. His guest, August, is to become a kind of godfather to Eduardo's niece at her confirmation. Many relatives and friends have been invited to attend the 18-year-old's party. The family was one of those things I could never really place through the voices and the people. And that had naturally to do with the fact that my understanding of the language was limited. And when a lot of people were present at lunch or some family festivity, it was often difficult for me to follow the conversation or to always understand what was going on. Contact with people one at a time always gave me more. That's usually how it is with me. For example, the conversations alone with Eduardo or with Maria. Después del chamanismo, con Jaime, las prácticas constantes, ya, este, llegué a, a preparar mi sentido, con Jaime, mi sexto sentido. Y decía, papá, vamos a esta fiesta que nos ha invitado un momento, voy a hablar con mi lechuza. Me ponía en meditación y decía, ¿es posible que puedo ir o no? Podemos ir. Y de repente sentía mentalmente y podía visualizar incluso en mi interno escenas que iban a suceder, o premonización. Y le dice, ¿sabes, hijas, que mejor no vamos a ir? Va a haber problemas en ese sitio, va a haber pleito, va a haber sangre. No, que mi papá, que por acá, no, no, no va a leer. La gente que gritaba, ay, papá, corra, tú, no venga, por favor, que se matan. Estaban que se peleaban. Y había premonizado yo, sentí, o sea, mi sexto sentido está ya en, en forma de, de, de poder pues, en este, captar los sucesos. La premonición es algo que uno se adelanta al suceso, es una ley. Entonces eso me dio aún más todavía solidez en el sentido de continuar el estudio, el trabajo, las acciones y las prácticas chamánicas. More and more guests arrive throughout the course of the night. In certain situations, there are sometimes background noises which take away my overview and orientation. Then if suddenly something happens, it can be a bit confusing and bewildering for me. 
After only a short time, August has had enough. All the activity and loud commotion are too much of a strain for our blind friend. During the siesta, Eduardo fashions a clay likeness of his grandchild. Eduardo is suddenly interrupted. A woman needs his help for her sick daughter. The curandero is taking the patient's pulse. He tries to get a picture of the illness by talking with the patient for as long as is necessary. The patient had once suffered a shock and since then, over a period of years, had been taking heavy psychopharmaceuticals to keep her sedated. Now she was very apathetic. I siempre busqué con Hama que necesitaba una solución con Hama los los problemas por ejemplo eh, males físicos y también psíquicos por ejemplo entonces había que buscar manera de solucionar esos problemas y prepararon y yo me preparé junto con ellos y pude llegar a pequeños dominios no del todo nadie sabe nada todo Poco a poco va sabiendo y nadie termina de conocer y de saber. Eduardo discusses the causes of the illness with the patient, gives her advice concerning nutrition and eating habits, and then asks her to procure some medicinal herbs from his daughter, Julia. El curanderismo, con el chamanismo, es para mí como un hobby, nada más. Soy escultor, ceramista, tallador, trabajo en, en, en cuestiones artesanales. Y la pesca también era mi fuente de trabajo, de, de sustento. Julia and Maria are preparing the medicinal herbs for the patient. At the same time, the children are getting extra private lessons from their parents. No ella, bueno, la conocí muchos años, el año más o menos, el 50 más o menos, el año 50 la conocí de ella. Y me comprometí con ella el año 53. Me hizo la brujería y me casé con ella. Yo vine a pescar por acá, a trabajar en la pesca y, y le eché ojo. Y me gustó, y fue una sirena que me encantó. <risa> The shaman's opinion is also asked for in connection with the political life of the community. Eduardo and a local representative are discussing a seawall, a wave breaker, which has been built on the beach of Las Delicias. The wall only protects the rich part of the village from the waves, but not the area of the poorer people, where also Eduardo's house is situated.
Eduardo has invited his guest August to be present at the preparation of the hallucinogenic San Pedro drink. This is a special honor. The cactus is cooked for seven hours, and only then can the juice be drunk by the participants at the nocturnal Mesa ceremony. Eduardo is preparing the altar for the Mesa. First, the Christian symbol, the cross, is set up. Around it, all the objects are grouped and placed in a very strict and definite order, and they in turn make up the altar. Some of the objects are thousands of years old, and others from our times. Some of the objects Eduardo has made himself. During the Mesa ceremony, all the participants sit in a horseshoe shape at the sides of Eduardo. All through the night, until the early hours of the morning, he will call his patients in front of the altar while in a state of trance, so as to heal them and to give them advice. ancestral antigua muy 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 vieja ya no cristiana pagana ya. tres campos campo justiciero campo neutro y campo negativo ganadero ahora la mesa en sí viene a ser como mi tablero de control ya Puntos de apoyo, objetos de poder, puntos de apoyo para trabajar. Símbolos nada más, símbolos. Entonces de aquí la fuerza mía, mental, energética, de los ayudantes, pila positiva, pila negativa. Juntan a mí la fuerza acá, se transmite a través de esto, y las varas, ¿ya?, ya, o sea, las staff, las varas, son nada menos que antenas, antenas que emiten y jalan, ya, captan y emiten, ya. Cada una tiene su símbolo también para las diferentes necesidades, ya, o apoyo que necesito para poderme dirigir. ¿Ya? Y este no es para defenderse, este es para captar la energía que entra así, como los derviches. ¿Ya? ¿Ok? Se usan en las computadoras y las máquinas electrónicas. Exactamente, mi mesa es un tablero de control en el cual yo pim, pum, pum, ta, 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 y puedo, ¿ya? acompañándome por el sistema auditivo. ¿Ya? Sistema olfativo. Después, por el intermedio del sistema de San Pedro y los elementos vegetales para activar la, la pituitaria, el punto del tercer ojo, y entonces todo se conjunta, el tabaco y todo, acelera la visión, ¿ya? audición, visión ¿ya? y tacto, olfato.
olfato. Se desarrolla psíquicamente todos esos, todos esos atributos. Entonces, en sí, la mesa es nada menos que una herramienta. La los ejercicios y las acciones con llama de, este, de estos menesteres, eh, mediante la, en la concentración, la meditación y concentración, y la in ingerir, por ejemplo, o inhalar elementos con llama alucinógenos, ¿Ya? Uno sale psíquicamente de lo físico, lo psíquico, psíquicamente pasa a planos superiores. The ceremony will begin at precisely 10 o'clock in the evening. Until it is ready to begin, all the participants will withdraw in order to prepare themselves. In einer Mesa, da ging es um eine in one mesa, the topic was about a decision concerning my profession. And there, Eduardo gave me a personal message. Sigue siempre a tu perro, which means always follow your dog. I pondered over what he meant by that statement. My dog had helped me on many occasions. My dog has really become an intuitive guide in certain situations. I have often had the experience that Berno sometimes intuitively goes away somewhere. Later I realized that there was something more behind it all than simply a sausage smell or something similar which usually interests dogs. August is looking for answers, stimulating insights for the next steps on his path through life. Eduardo's thoughts are sometimes about death. El cuerpo ya, es componente de la tierra. Son elementos con llama de agua eh, y elementos que, que forman con llama el, el digamos, huesos, etc. Eso va a confundirse al Al, al polvo, a la, a la tierra, al, al elemento jama de material. El espíritu, que es vida, se va. O sea, el espíritu, la acción motora nada más. ¿Ya? Y el alma, que es otra entidad, digamos, otra fuerza mucho más superior que, que el espíritu, que es cósmico, el gran, la gran de la gran fuerza con llama de, del, del universo, ya, se va también. Entonces queda solamente la personalidad, o sea, todo lo que el hombre supo, hizo, acá y se preparó, queda latente. Queda en, 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 en planos especiales aquí en el mundo. Y esperar hasta cuando venga, según la ley de la reencarnación, y vuelva nuevamente el ser pero no como fue. August Rugerberg is now back in Munich. He and his wife Sabine work together in their own practice as therapists for people and animals. He had received many impulses and insights from Eduardo. August is now trying to integrate them in his therapeutic work.
Eduardo gave me a lot of impulses to think about things, to open myself up to things which were totally foreign to me, and actually also my worldview and belief systems, which are completely contradictory. The important thing was the kindness and love which Eduardo radiated, and that was certainly a very important factor for me, to be able to open myself up to so many of these unknown foreign experiences. Sometimes I ask myself why I didn't meet him later in life, at a time when maybe I might have been better able to perceive and sense many of the things. But the reasonable answer can only be, I needed him in an earlier phase of my life, so as to give me the impulses that were necessary for any kind of development to happen in the first place. The fact that he existed and also made such an effort to help me truly fills me with gratitude. Don Eduardo is dead. He lived to the age of 66. His songs have been silenced forever.